Time News at 10. I'm Esther Ho. In international news, Hillary Clinton jumped back into U.S. presidential politics on Sunday, announcing her most weighted second campaign for the White House with a video. As she did in 2007, Clinton began her campaign for the 2016 Democrat with a video. Instead of following the video with a rally, she plans to head to the early voting states of Iowa and New Hampshire, looking to connect with voters directly at coffee shops, daycare centers, and some private homes. said it would strengthen safety measures regarding tank vessels in connection with a recent police investigation exposing cases of oil transports failing safety trucks, which could put potentially lead to an explosion. The Busan Regional Police Agency booked 10 owners of the ocean refueling companies without detention on charges of transporting oil without proper safety equipment and creating a danger of explosion. In connection with the cases, the Busan Regional Oceans and Fisheries Administration will carry out a complete inspection of all tanker vessels in the city. To mark the Day of the Disabled on April 20th, an event was held in Busan Citizens Park yesterday for citizens to experience what it's like for people with disabilities to get around the city. Participants experienced the difficulties in walking and commuting environments for people with disabilities in local areas by using a wheelchair and crossing the streets with a patch over their eyes during yesterday's event. The event was prepared by civic groups, including the Citizen Solidarity for Participation and Self-Governance of Busan. Along the riverside of the Naktung River lies the largest canola flower garden in the country, where the fourth annual canola flower festival was held last weekend. The canola flower garden is situated in a 760,000 square meter area of the upper and lower sections of Kupu Bridge. A variety of trails and observation platforms, including Param Gebi Gil, were made in areas in and around the Canola Flower Garden. This year's festival will be held for six extra days compared to last year and will be closed on the 19th. Concerns for unplanned development of Kamchan Culture Village are rising as the village is being more widely considered as a popular tourist attraction in Busan. And in response to these concerns, the local government has begun preparing countermeasures to prevent the destruction of the local landscape. An official of the Sa District Office said it has conducted a planned district-wide investigation establishing detailed guidelines consisting of building heights, color of walls and gates, and Kamchang Culture Village designs. As the number of people visiting Kamchang Culture Village continues to increase, with about 300,000 people visiting last year, souvenir shops and restaurants have also been established in the region. And the construction and development of these businesses have been weakening conditions of the local environment quickly. One hundred and twenty domestic and foreign water expert companies who have participated in the seventh annual World Water Forum in 2015 will send their representatives to visit Kijang's seawater desalination plant from April 14th to 16th. The facility is the largest seawater desalination plant to use an osmotic pressure system and it plans to begin supplying water in earnest within the first half of the year. Visitors from various water expert companies will observe how the seawater desalination plants are being processed and visit the pre-processing facility which uses, which uses world patented pressure flotation equipment. This year's first rice planting will begin in Kadak field of Kangsa district. An official of Busan Agriculture Technology Center said a 63-year-old farmer, Kim Gyeongyang, who has been growing rice for about 40 years in Chukdongdong in Kangsa district, will begin planting rice at 10 a.m. tomorrow. 
This year's first rice planting is happening about seven days earlier than last year. Kim plans to plant rice in his 5,950 square meter size field in Chukdongdong and to harvest the rice in early August of this year. The best pistol shooter of the world and the 2012 Olympic and 2014 world champion Jin Jong-ho won the 10-meter air pistol men gold medal at the ISSF World Cup in Changwon. Jin had shot 206.0 points in the finals yesterday, establishing the new world record over the previous 202.8 points set by Vietnam's shooter at the 2014 ISSF World Cup in Fort Benning. Meanwhile, Kim ang a leading Korean rifle shooter, was qualified to participate in the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games. And now for the weather. Skies will be cloudy in Busan, Ulsan, Changwon, and Gyeongnam, with all regions experiencing rain. It is going to be windy in the coastal areas. Finders levels are good. Waves will rise from 1.5 to 4 meters in the seas. It is currently 14 degrees here in Busan. That wraps up this hour's news. Thank you for joining us. Now you're listening to Busan EFM.